This week on the House of Bread Show, we talk about the anniversary service coming up, the Prince's Trust have been in helping us out, a jammed packed bread church and more bread church news, we also talk about the kids' sale, and as always, much, much more. Hello! Welcome to the House of Bread Show one more time. Hello to Will. Hello, it's just you uh, and me again. Scantily running around for a bit of scrap of paper that you seem to have chucked away there before we've done the vlog. I've rescued it. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, all things good well, to start with. I think Matt's coming on next week, so don't don't worry folks, it's not just us. Where's that come from? What? <laughs> What's happened? In case they're tuning out and they're saying, oh, not them again. Absolute chaos. We'll start with um, the anniversary service coming up yes. on the... 3rd of, of November. November, which is a Thursday. Thursday the 3rd. Held in the evening. You need to be there and in your seats by 5.30. Why, I asked. Glad you asked that. Uh, BBC Radio Stoke are coming down to record oh, right. it. So thank you, okay. Lamont and uh, Ian, uh, who's doing the sound. Uh, yeah, they've been basically recorded our last three or four shows, I mm. think. Um, so we, uh, yeah, we're going to be at Trinity Church on Mount Street and um, the recording is divided into two so you've got two key messages that are going out I'm uh, just laughing at you because you seem to like just stop there for a second <laughs> we're a bit two, hysterical two for key this messages. one one is all about Browning Street and the other is about the launch of Bread Church um, and they'll be singing a bit of talking and then the first show goes out on a on the Sunday this side of Christmas and then the next side of Christmas um, <laughs> that's a long time it is a long time but it's the it's the weekend that brexit uh there's some brexit news breaking oh so in may may yeah, 5th or something may when, the, they're, may when they're the enacting article 50, 50. Yeah, no, brexit talk brexit oh, talk sorry. Band. <laughs> Band yeah. talking about so that's very serials. exciting to be there this this thursday um yes yeah, it's gonna be good. Where, where's that when again mount mount street uh, trinity church opposite wilkinson's yep where be we there used to for be yeah but be there after five well before five thirty. i do <laughs> cake and tea uh, and coffee and other beverages probably. okay right fantastic mm, probably a good one uh, another absolutely amazing uh, thing to talk about. Prince's Trust oh. have just stormed it um, this week, over the past week. And um, we won't put any uh, up any pictures. I might put a picture up of the team um, right now. Uh, but what they've done, they're still here for another three days. Uh, Monday, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday. It's just been fantastic. We basically pitched, to, or Jude pitched to them a couple of weeks ago. They selected us. And they've just been working solidly. I, I've mm. met one of their big bosses today, and I really did... Uh, big up the the youngsters who are on the on this week's team, um, and they've been based at the, the unit. They've been at Browning Street. They've been working the cellar. They've been do, sorting out clothes. They've made a real difference. Even the guys and girls doing the clothing have sorted out all the clothes and then done little labels with the labels. sizes on it. A, little a nice messages, little message. Yeah, message. I've got a picture them. actually. I might ask you to put that up. And that was so so sweet. The other folk have been up here going through the mountain of food that we've, we've had. had this is the biggest food bank we've had. Uh, by miles well, yeah. and this is the amo most amount of food we never would have fitted this amount of food in before so thank you for donating it thank you Princess Trust yeah. for uh, sourcing it we've never been busier which is why we need the food um, the other mm. little, nice little link is I interviewed a couple of people uh, apart the sort of management team of Princess Trust on the radio show which is going out on Sunday the radio show we'll uh, always get some mention yeah so, uh, so listen out for that if you want to hear about what the Princess Trust is at uh, and they're with us next week and they're going to do some more major work and mm. then I think I'm going along, hopefully, to the celebration sort of um, Did party. I hear free food? There was free food. Vol Volleyballs well. and, and canapes, yeah. apparently. Uh, and then hopefully next year, come the springtime, when the next lot of team is, they're going to approach us to see if they can get more involved. So um, we're very excited. Fantastic. Yeah. They, very they just you, have been brilliant, trust. so thank you yeah. again. Best if you're watching ever. this, we'll try and encourage you to watch it. Yeah. Uh, they were at Bread Church last week, and yes. also there was a group from... Gosh, Walston. Walston. Um, Isabella Good Lawrence, memory. thank you very much for bringing your youth group along. It was brilliant, actually, because we had 11 people from the youth group who were there. Then we had three young students who turned up who wanted to come and see whether they could do work experience and volunteer mm. with us, so that was another group. Then we had the Prince's Trust, which is... 15 youngsters and we had 52 people I think there's a I'll put a picture pick. up of uh, 52 um, people who all sat down uh, and, and, and ate bread fantastic. and shared the soup and it was just fantastic and it just worked so well and there were so many complimentary comments about just 
people being welcome mm. and the, the guys in the Princess Trust were working in the garden with Matt Long and Chris and Stuart um, sort of getting the garden ready for the for the winter time so they're working really hard there and then we all came together and we all had our, um, our bread and worship time and it was just brilliant one of the best bread churches we've had mm, um, it was fantastic and the team were brilliant the core team were brilliant catching up on all the doings and talking of bread church we are taking bread church on the road again to St George's so next we week aren't we next Tuesday we'll be coming to Mellor House to be part of the entertainment for the AGM of the, oh, of right, the Recovery okay. Hub or the Recovery College, I should say. And we're say. doing bread church and soup there. I think yes. we're making soup. We've got we're making ovens. soup for the sort of lunch so people can sort of carry it away in the containers and then we're also going to be making bread. Um, and we get quite a lot of folk who um, are in St George's who come to bread church and a couple of other uh, mm -hmm. events. It'll be nice to see them. Um, and it links into a lot of extended work that we're doing more so at Browning Street. Steady on, so steady on, you're jumping ahead here. Um, so we just want to talk about how great okay. Bread Church is and yeah. taking it into places because it is so fun and it's so interactive and it genuinely is rather easy to make bread. There's not much that can go wrong unless um, you put in too much water or flour. <laughs> which has which been is, known. Which has been done. But it is just mm. such great fun and that's why we're always doing these events. Yeah, and on the following day, on Wednesday, we've got the big, big boss. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've yeah. got to ding the dog. Oh, sorry, ding your dog. That's why you were going ahead. Oh. So, talking of uh, Bread Church, yes. then St George's, it's all linked. Now, the head um, or the chairman of the yeah. South Staffordshire and Shropshire NHS Healthcare Trust, which I think is right. <laughs> I don't Phoebe, know. you tell us if it's not. Um, Neil Carr. Neil sir. Carr is coming to visit us. Yes. Now so, we this is more what you alluded to yeah. just now. Neil Carr Moving is a good on. friend of House of Bread. He's been to a number of different events. We've been to the, the AGM been the a couple of times. He's been on the vlog, hasn't mm -hmm. he? Actually, I will make a note to interview him. Yes. Planning. Uh, so, mm. yeah, so Neil's going to basically come and visit us at Brownie Street, and part of that is for him to experience what the offer is, mm. and it links into some of the work I was just alluding to, and that is the connection between folk who are in the um, services, uh, mental health support services, and that transition back into the community. And there's quite a significant sort of issue around gaps in the service provision around yeah. that. And so we want to come and show him that actually we can be part of that transition. Um, and in fact, we're looking to set up sort of collections of groups of people at different times on the Wednesday and Thursday where people can just meet and gather and chat about their experiences, um, where they need help and the rest of it. So I'm hoping Neil will come along and well, there'll be more have about a coffee that and a tea. On next week's vlog, I yeah, imagine, when we get to interview Neil. Yeah, and um, he's, he's a very busy man, so to give up time is really yes, good. So wonderful. thank you, Neil. Yes, yes we'll interview right. See you on Wednesday. So that's a oh, very delicate thing. Uh, it's that time of the vlog where everybody gets excited because it means it's nearly the end. Any other business? Uh, what have you got? I've got some right. stuff. Um, you're going to mention the children's event, so that's fine. I'll talk about corporate social responsibility Go days. On then. Run More away with social it. responsibility days. <gasps> Thank you, Amy. We've got Lisa Stewart, who runs the infrastructure work for the Borough Council, yes. and another Stewart, who's part of Amy, but a different section, uh, the, the guys that uh, do a lot of work around the prison services. Ah, um, yes. Anyway, both are offering us two or three days each between now and Christmas, mm -hmm. um, and there's about 11, 12, 13, 14 folk coming each day um, and they're going to basically help in the garden and one of the things that they're going to link in with the garden is that we've just been donated a hundred pallets from Waits the builders who are building some properties right opposite yes the garden if you've seen the big building um, yeah. building construction site Rural Homes at Rising Brook yeah, yeah. Um, and they have their lunches and quite often look out onto the garden anyway they came down see Matt and Stuart and working there Matt and Stuart in his topless. desk Digging, uh, away, <laughs> digging away, drinking so they, their Diet Coke. Yep, so they've offered <laughs> Not only that, they've actually offered to come and install a pitched roof on the container ah, yes. with solar, solar panels, panels so we can generate our own electricity in our own garden and maybe feed some of that back into the grid. There we go. So not you have some bread electric. Not only feeding people, <laughs> feeding the national grid. Yes. So have some bread. bread electric available <laughs> to, go to, a, go to a plus Pop, socket near you. Um, the big kids... Um, sale event we're yes. not selling children i'll rephrase that the big event for selling kids stuff yes we've got a huge quantity of clothes uh, toys uh, push chairs prams some of them are brand new um and it'll be at church lane on sunday the no it is <laughs> i don't know how you forget this the day the 5th of november it is saturday the 5th, 5th of november, november the date everybody knows right <laughs> 
on fire night. So Inside Will's mind there yeah, for a second. It is. Uh, and it starts, I don't worry, about 9.30, 10 o'clock, I should say? I think so, yes. Yeah. We'll have some more. And there'll be tea and coffee and all sorts of things. But come along if you want to purchase by donation only. So just see an item, make a donation towards the, the work of House of Bread. Mm. Uh, Jude will be there, a couple of other people will be there, uh, and it'll, it'll be a good be, time to yeah, meet us in the It'll flesh. just be a House of Bread event where you can yeah. come along and have a look at some stuff. And if you're there, if you're watching this thinking, you know, oh, I can't come along, I haven't got enough or whatever, there is no, I haven't got enough. Just come along. If you like something, you know, we'll give it to you. Yeah. It's, it really it's is that, it's that like yeah. that. And, and yeah. finally, um, just to say a big thank you to Jude and team uh, oh, who Pen helped at Penkridge Market. They were just there raising some awareness, but also um, some Christmas puddings, Christmas puddings uh, and some Christmas we alcohol give that we've been donated. Yeah. And some alcohol that we couldn't give away, so there's some no. raffle prizes. There. Raffle so, prizes. Yeah. Everybody loves a raffle. So Penkridge Market, apparently that's quite a big thing. Yeah, I Fantastic. think. Oh, that is it. Thank you, Will. And thank your you scrunched Jake. up yes. piece of paper. We made it through. Yeah, I'll keep that note. <laughs> thank you very much for watching, as always, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Who was that?